All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I burn my stumps out and it works pretty effectively. It's basically like using a, a rocket stove. I'll basically bore cut in at the bottom and bore cut down through the center. Real easy, especially if they're sort of rotten in the center. Today, I just use this little MS-250 with an 18 inch bar. So it kind of limits how deep I can bore down. That's why I top my stumps a little high to get this rocket stove effect. Generally, I'll pour a little mix of diesel, maybe a little motor oil and some scraps down in there and, and set it on fire. And usually they'll pretty well burn. Like this stump here is pretty dry. It'll pretty well burn on its own most of the day. Today we got a pretty light breeze. The other thing too, once you do your bore cuts, I just bore cut squares or rectangles. I'll take a maul or a sledgehammer like that and slap them real hard with the end of it and that helps break them loose if they're not completely connected. This one here is, I didn't get everything. I didn't have enough bar to get all the way to the back of that center bore cut. So that one I actually had to come over here and, and just bore in a line to, to cut that center free and then you can use a crowbar or whatever and drive down through there and clean it out. I'll get it set on fire and give you a shot of what that looks like. I almost forgot to mention you can take a leaf blower and this one here is just going to sit at idle. Just feed it some air, and it will really get it burning good and hot. It tastes like a furnace. Usually I'll leave the leaf blower sitting back a little ways and I'll take an old scrap piece of gutter or something and put the gutter on the end of the end of the nozzle, put it right up there by the bottom of the of the stump. That way you make sure you don't melt your, your plastic tube on the end of your blower. But you can dump some stuff, some small sticks, even a little bigger chunks down in there. And I've already done that, I did that earlier. <laughs> Too, to really get the heat in the stump and get get it to where it'll burn and it won't go out on its own so I'll check back on it later okay guys it's been about an hour and a half maybe two hours no, probably about an hour and a half you can see it is burnt the center out it's even burnt a hole right through there probably not going to do that great at burning down through the stump because it also burn a big hole out the side right there so when it does that it does lose some of its rocket stove effect but I'll pile some more wood in it and, and keep it burning it is burning down inside of it pretty well and sometimes you just never know how how hollow these trees are and how they're gonna burn where the softest wood is and you can see that that area there where I had to cut through on the back side probably helped it burn through that edge <coughs> which that was also where a, a limb had been broke off so it was a little thinner there anyway so we'll stuff some wood in it and see how deep we can get it to burn in watch the draw I mean you can see in the bottom 
down here at the opening, it's still, even with a lot of the stump burn away, it's still drawing heat into the inside and out, up out the top. We're still drawing air in. So as you draw that air in the bottom, keeps those coals in the bottom good and hot. It helps it stump burn down through the bottom. Again, if you haven't looked up the concept of a rocket stove, that's really what this is. You want to try to keep all the heat in the center. Keep it going up as high as you can. And keep it drawing air in the bottom. And it'll burn good and hot and fast. And really, this, it'd do better if the stumps were taller. I just don't have a long enough bar to get down close to the ground with my entrance and then get my vertical tube any longer than that. So that's about, I keep the stumps about 24 inches or so. And then I can pretty well work that with an 18 inch bar, cut about a four inch thick entrance in the bottom and usually about an eight inch square in the top. That seems to work out pretty well. Again, you don't want to stack wood around the outside. You want to try to keep this core exterior wood sort of keep this tunnel and keep all that heat on the inside so if it doesn't rain i'll check back in a little later if it does i'll check back tomorrow it's been about three hours got it loaded up it's burning pretty good so hopefully it burns most of the way down okay guys it's starting to lightly rain I don't know if the sound will be picked up on the camera, but it's pretty well burnt down, probably about as much as it's going to burn down. I imagine if it picks up raining any heavier, it's definitely going to be put out, probably. Mostly, this whole side is burnt away. As you can see, you've just got these two sides left. This side here is mostly burnt away where I had the entrance going in. So it's done pretty good for... It's been burning about six hours, like I said, I think. So it'll... Uh, got some real deep coals. So, I mean, she might burn down deeper there's a lot of heat sitting right there still if it doesn't rain real hard those coals will retain a lot of heat and and hopefully dig down through the bottom of the stump a little bit over over the night we'll check back on it in the morning and see how it looks okay guys it's the next day as you can see it, the ground's wet it did rain for three or four hours last night slow and steady just took the leaf blower, little BG50 still, and blew off the ashes and the everything. And you can see, and just blowing that air on it, it got it going again. It definitely survived the rain, kept in a good bit of heat. See, it burned in pretty level with the ground there below it. And it burned in deep in a couple places. So. I'll still probably have three or four more burns on this thing to get it down good and deep. <clears throat> uh, if it was cooled off completely, I would maybe even take the chainsaw and score some marks in it and help it burn in deeper. But since it's still good and, good and hot and it just rained, I'm going to try to keep it burning and, and help keep this stump good and dried out and let it keep burning down deep. If you can keep them hot and dry, they will burn deep. So if you're going to do this, try to make sure it's not been super wet out. And it's a little breezy today, but it just rains. I'm going to get the fire going again here, so I'm not too worried about catching anything else on the fire. But This is about the, about the results. Some, sometimes, especially if it hadn't rained, it, they'll burn in deeper on the first, on the first burn. That rain definitely probably slowed it down some. But this is, in my experience, this is the fastest way to cheaply remove a stump. I mean, it doesn't really cost anything. I mean, you could hire a grinder to come in and do this. And it would definitely be the quickest way, but 
and burning from the outside. I've never had any real success with that. If you can get this good, this core, the center core good and hot like it is right here, you can have some success. The outside, it, it just doesn't ever, can't ever really get enough heat built into the, the stump in my opinion. So, hope you enjoy and uh, have success burning your own. Thanks. All right, so the clip you'll see right before this is Monday evening, basically after we'd had some rain and I got the fire sort of started going again, I believe. This is Wednesday evening. I basically started the fire back up Monday evening, let it burn. We got a lot of rain last night. And it basically just sat here and smoldered on its own. I had, a, I had the fire stacked up real big, a lot of coals, and then I didn't touch it since Monday. I didn't touch it at all yesterday. I haven't touched it all today. And you can see it's burnt down into the ground pretty good. So I'm gonna use a leaf blower and blow the ashes off and see, see what we've got for results here as it's just sat here and smoldered. See down there in the center, it's actually burnt down to the ground. It's burnt all the way through in the center. So, as you can see, even though we got a lot of rain last night, there's enough ashes and heat there. It really held the heat in, and it just keeps burning. So, that's really the key to this method: is get the heat into the center of the stump and just try to maintain it, and let it keep burning and burning, and it will on its own once you get that first day that good heat in there and burning it will pretty well burn itself down for the next couple days and you don't even have to touch it if it's good and dry so. those are my results and I uh, hope you have good luck with yours <laughs>